The philosophical quandary of the shitty office printer. You just dropped a grand on the latest all-in-one printer for your home office. Sleek design, high-tech features, and the product description strongly implied it would change your effing life. We shall see about that. But now the miserable hunk of plastic and circuitry is mocking you, flashing an inscrutable error code as it refuses to yield a single printed page. You want to punt this useless piece of garbage through the goddamn window. You feel the rage simmering, the existential frustration at being defeated by an overpriced office appliance bubbling up. The string of profanities you proceed to yell could make a sailor blush. But wait, is getting bent out of shape over this what the ancient Stoic philosophers would recommend? Didn't those bearded wise asses preach about being impervious to life's irritations, about separating our emotional state from external events beyond our control? Screw that, you think? How could Stoicism prepare someone for dealing with modern technological pains in the ass like this effing printer? This crap wasn't in Seneca's moral letters. It's enough to make you denounce philosophy altogether. Then again, maybe there's something to this whole rising above it thing. The printer's just an object, and whether or not it works isn't the end of the world. Perhaps getting this worked up over a machine is, in the grand scheme, a foolish waste of your finite human energies. Alright fine, you'll take a deep, clearing breath and channel your inner Marcus Aurelius. The rage subsides. You go fix yourself a stiff drink and think it through rationally. Was the printer properly configured? Did you install the software drivers correctly? Is the Wi-Fi connection being a flaky son of a gun again? With this newly cultivated attitude of calm detachment, you tinker around and, lo and behold, manage to get the printer working smoothly. The mere philosophical exercise was, ironically, precisely what allowed you to overcome the technical roadblock. As you smile holding those first printed pages hot off the press, you crack open some stoic wisdom, the universe is change, wrote Aurelius, life is opinion. Maybe the old guys had a point, our perceptions shape our experience, for better or worse. Who'd have thought that by embracing the principles of not giving a crap, one might finally be unburdened enough to fix the effing printer? Consider it an evergreen reminder that the ancient life philosophies aren't always out of place in our topsy-turvy modern world. Ank, Uja, Cineb. Life, Strength, Health, Learn, Like, and Subscribe. Copyright 2024 Kenneth Money. All rights reserved. Mott's Feather of Truth is a registered trademark of Project Muff Publishing, Chicago, Illinois.